Striving to be the industry's overall low-cost provider is a powerful competitive approach in markets with many price-sensitive buyers. A company achieves low-cost leadership when it becomes the industry's lowest-cost provider rather than just being one of perhaps several competitors with low costs. Successful low-cost providers boast meaningful lower costs than rivals, but not necessarily the absolute lowest possible cost. In striving for a cost advantage over rivals, managers must include features and services that buyers consider essential. A product offering that is too frills free can be viewed by customers as offering little value, regardless of its pricing. A low-cost leader's basis for competitive advantage is lower overall costs than competitors. Success in achieving a low-cost edge over rivals comes from eliminating and or curbing non-essential activities and or out-managing rivals in performing essential activities. A company has two options for translating a low-cost advantage over rivals into attractive profit performance. Option one is to use the lower-cost edge to underprice competitors and attract price-sensitive buyers in great enough numbers to increase total profits. Option two is to maintain the present price, be consistent with the present market share, and use lower cost edge to earn a higher profit margin on each unit sold, thereby raising the firm's total profits and overall return on investment. To achieve a low cost edge over rivals, a firm's cumulative costs across the overall value chain must be lower than competitors' cumulative costs. There are two major avenues for accomplishing this. First, performing essential value chain activities more cost-effectively than rivals, and second, revamping the firm's overall value chain to eliminate or bypass some cost-producing activities. A competitive strategy predicated on low-cost leadership is particularly powerful when price competition among rival sellers is especially vigorous, the products of rival sellers are essentially identical and are readily available from sellers, there are few ways to achieve product differentiation that have value to buyers, and finally buyers incur low costs in switching their purchases from one seller to another. Perhaps the biggest pitfall of a low-cost provider strategy is getting carried away with overly aggressive price cutting and ending up with lower rather than higher profitability. A second big pitfall is relying on an approach to reduce costs that can be easily copied by rivals. A third and final pitfall is becoming too fixated on cost reduction. A low-cost provider strategy means striving to achieve overall lower costs than rivals and appealing to a broad spectrum of customers, usually by underpricing rivals.